Hello everyone, welcome back to Theatre. Last time we finished the Dwarf quest and he gave us some very nice rewards. One of those is our Silver Shield, which is very nice for our rat. Finally, 13 increased shielding. This is our first shield, so rat is now much better at red challenges. Look at that. <laughs> 60 armor. How much without it? It's 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 amazing. The red is now using the shield and sword just for get, uh, the shielding and biting everybody off the face of Thea. We also got the silver heavy armor, which is which is heavy, but oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> And our rat has 90 physical armor. This is... yes. <laughs> this is real. This is ridiculous. We will see. I wonder what challenges now are we now able to do with this. Just placing rat three times. We will see. Also got a golden crafting tool, which is masterwork. It's not as good as the one we had. Well, it's basically the same and also has sanity regeneration, so... It's good if somebody is dying of sanity. But we also got this amazing crafting tool, 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 which is better and much lighter. So we are getting this one. And we should equip somebody with the dark armor. Who is going to be in physical challenges? You. Is it heavy for you? No, it's not. Iron heavy armor. I will, yeah, but then I will keep this one because of how heavy it is. Luba, you are. Nobody can wear this because it's heavy. Alright. It never mind. Let's. Let's continue. What we want to do. Oh, of course, level ups. Beautiful. She sold there. I really think I should take this one because it is Destiny and her Matryoshka is Destiny based. Master Healer decreases group's death chance. Well, not bad, but yeah, I will take the Solter. And our Mr. Rat. I'm thinking about Perception because it is Red Star. But increasing the intelligence, it will make him better in yellow challenges. I think I will take the intelligence, because it's main stat. Yeah, let's take the intelligence. What we will do is finish these quests, and then finally move east. Can we craft something? We have 350, almost. Nothing to cook. There is not enough, not enough leather, not enough anything. I still cannot make the quartz tool, right? Yes, it's almost 400. Maybe I could use some metal. That will free up like this. Doesn't seem bad. But I would grab it. It shouldn't be that heavy. And it's something that we can trade. Let's make the inventor save. For the sanity regeneration. We are we are so heavy. And two more level ups, beautiful. Samoslav, of course, it's per perception. And Anton. I said that you will be gatherer? Or is that another another child? Let's see. Henio. 
you sh you will be gatherer because of the perception. Anton, how long until growing up? Eighteen turns, nine turns. All right, you yeah you should be you will be Zerka, right? Yeah. Or I hope <laughs> that he will become Zerka. Mm. Any yellow stats would be nice. So of course there will be no yellow stats to be had. Let's give him a strength for carry limit. Let's continue. We got a advancement point. That's nice. Why are we so slow? Free movement points. I will complain about it every single episode. 666 six, 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 five, seven, five, three. Yeah, because we are over overburdened. That's the reason. I really want to sell everything I have. How long it would take for us to go here? Mm. Let's just let's just move. Which hut walks over to in your direction on chicken foot and a voice booms from within. I smell sweet darkness clutching your souls. And where there I and where there is demand, I bring supply. Pay my dearies, and your curses shall be cured cured. As for professional discount, as you only need the facilities and some supplies, and you can manage the rest. Agree to pay. Let's magic user it. Hmm, sounds reasonable. You pay less, my dearie. Pay for one curse. I think we have only one curse, right? It's the magical one. 25. You want a Rolada? Spirit. Maybe. And level up. Any of. And like we said, you are gatherer, you are getting gatherer. Amazing. Everything goes according to plan. There are some fat rats. Let's just... Oh. This is a lot of, lot of enemies. Just finish the quest as soon as possible. You come to a mound that oh, no. looks like a red blemish, unnaturally formed from a strange reddish clay. There is a tear in the middle, and beyond it, you know, lies the Red Ridger camp. I forgot about this. Let's go closer. Just like the alchemist said, the camp is well situated to repel any attacks, with plenty of natural cover and good line of sight. You are not able to spot much from a safe distance, but you see regular patrols of fairly well-armed folk. Hmm. I think the, the biggest question is, can Rat do this challenge alone? <laughs> I don't think so, no. Let's talk. As you walk towards the camp, you sense that you are being watched. A small group of ruffians meets you at the edge of the camp. One of them, a burly-looking human, speaks. It isn't often that folk hand themselves to us, so I'll assume you have business here. Attractive. Smile and say that you wish only to visit the cave in the Red Mount. Wink, wink. Let's try it. Suppose you look impressive like, yeah, so we can talk. But you with that oddball bookworm type. We told him and we'll tell you. That cave is our turf. No stragglers, no sightseeing. Mm -hmm. Try to haggle, attack, or accept your defeat, surrender. Tell them of your story and ask for the help. Okay, <laughs> let's try this. Ah, you bore me to death with your word vomit. Just shut your gob. Or kick your butts and be done with it. But we do have us two problems we like dealt with. And I ain't gonna cry if you die trying to do them for us. Keep listening. There's an old gold mine swarming with some demon kind. We don't like meddling with their sort. Gas the mine and we'll talk about the cave. Oh, there's another constant sore up our butts you can help with. Go and slaughter those filthy scavengers down by the lake. Yeah, that'll be a treat. Then we'll let you snoop in the cave all you like. I'll mark both on your maps and you decide which favour you'll do. Okay. Oh, everything is so far away. Let's 
get rid of the smith like this, eh? Or we can just go go west. What is that? A wolf. A juicy wolf. Another level up. Beautiful. Nežatka. I don't know what this does. This is just stronger. Increase in crafting, carry limit, health. Let's get Matryoshka. Slav, you are a crafter, which means... It should be wisdom. What I'm thinking is that I will just make a group of the most movable characters and with them I will finish the quest because I'm so slow. It's ridiculous. Got some meat, but we cannot do anything with that. I think I can still make some gathering tools to increase carrying limits. The question is, do I have enough resources? Seven, no, gems, leather, it has to, have to be with normal wood, and yeah, normal wood is not enough for scavengers aid. the most movement points. Five, six, five, six, five, six, five. You come across a small settlement, or at least what typically passes as one for scavengers. It is shabby and dark and smells of rotten flesh. You see people sitting around a badly made fire. There are a few kids, thin, feral looking, some grown-ups with visible ailments such as skin growths, missing limbs, scabs, coughing up blood and such. Some of the people have weapons. Five by your count. It's approach. The settlement goes quiet, and a small group approaches you with weapons drawn. A middle-aged, heavy-set woman rolls in from behind the armed group and speaks, her voice distorted by scabs covering her lips and face. Who are you, then? You come to stick us. Hmm, we can warn them, we can not, we can say we are not there to harm them. Can we do difficulty 5 yellow? We should be able to do 5 red, but I'm not sure about yellow. Outmaneuver is strong, but it is only only one. Let's say that we don't want to harm them. Those filthy buggers. Them lot who take our kin and kill us. Why are you doing their dirty work, eh? Said we are on the path of the divine. The bandits have what you need. The red cave. So we need the scavengers to move out if they wish to avoid bloodshed. We do not go nowhere. This is our patch, and if you don't go, we stick you like pigs. Like, this is the easy one. Hmm. Let's try to show them the mark of the chosen. That is a lot of people. Oh. Serious engineer, in engineers, not engineers, injuries. Let's do it. So, highest damage. Not you. 
defense 19, 18, 16. I will place her first. No, I will not place her first. 21, that's beautiful. 8, 7. Let's place Rat first because String of the Swarm is broken. Now you in the back. And our crafter with the hammer. We can finish it with him. Yeah, I can actually summon. Let's summon bear here. The hammer attack will be beautiful. I think I should. Oh, she is also Matryoshka. I can I can play her and fill the board completely. I'm not sure if that's what I want to do. You know what? It is what I want to do. And then the last thing is you. Hunter's Mark or Protection. Let's do Hunter's Mark on her. So she will not kill the bear. And let's see. A full board. Beautiful. Our crafter is under heavy attack. It should be quite easy right now. <clears throat> we should attack her. Yeah, Rat is one-shooting everyone. And we can outmaneuver. You are not dangerous. You are. We don't want our craftsmen to suffer any more damage. It's only her left. That should be. That should be end. Mr. Rat. Oh, they have three cards still. I thought that they have only one. Never mind. Let's summon a bear and then we can, we can basically auto resolve. Let's put him, put him out. Make a quick battle. You speak with divine gravity, and they cower before you. Okay, okay, please don't make the gods angry at us. This place is shit, anyways. We go now. But those bandits, they be bad. Maybe you consider helping us instead. Hmm. Amazing. A masterwork. Scavengers 8. Beautiful. Dark Gathering tool. It's slight. Golden crafting tool. Topaz crafting tool. And a dog. So, okay. Two people got free intelligence. Don't know if 
those are the ones. Oh, okay, it's nice. No, wait for them and leave a report. Let's agree to listen. Much was taken from us, and we weak. No more strong ones to fight to take back. Can you help? Why should I? Your bodies look well fleshed. Your eyes speak of food and clean water. We had no such luck. Our grandfathers and their grandfathers before them. They are sick. They weak. They die. Hmm. No, you don't recall the darkest night. Yes, you know the dark night well. Grandfathers banished to walk the land, the sick rivers, the ailing forest, the cursed meats. We lived but weak and flesh ill, or mind itched. What of it? My family is growing weaker still. The shattering took our homes again. Your good flesh folk kill us. Your gods leave us to rot. But my kid, my kid was born good flesh. Maybe this brings hope. Someone took them? Yes, yes, the other pack, the Red Ridgers. Over the peak there, they took them and took many manfolk. We too weak now. If you do this, we have a way into this cave of yours. Yes, we do. What's in for you? My younger daughter, Monia. She not so ill. She will birth your children. <laughs> and we have goods we can give. Not so much. Most was taken. We have not much. In that cave of yours, you'll be free to go in, no? She gestures towards a pale, thin girl with saggy breasts and bulging abdomen, looking up at you without emotion. <laughs> Agree to look for the child and take Monia when you succeed. She doesn't look very happy about it. Ask if she's okay with the deal. Well, she looks miserable, so at least she can leave here. Agree to look for the child. Take a closer look. At your host. Say that you will not help in this old saga. Tell them to leave as agreed. Let's take a closer look. You remember the harsh ways of your kind, but you left that life. Most people here carry illness of the body and mind, and women are kept as breeding stock. You remember raids where you were sent out to capture healthy women from others. Still, you know this is their way of life, so the girl will come willingly. Or rather, she has no will left to oppose. <laughs> this is all for business. Selling off their own kin as cattle, push this place and kill the leader and the guards. Agree to look for the child and take Monia when you succeed. Say that you will not help this old saga. Hmm. Let's look for the child. Oh, good, good. You strange people, but good. How odd that is. Them bandits, they talk to you. They think you work for them. You give them this, my rod. You say you kill me and you poison the buggers. Or just steal our kin back or slaughter them. Either way, you get your cave, I promise. Okay, I'll leave. Mm, can you talk with them again to say let's pay it? You want sure. to trade? You got her young one. No. No. Okay. Only two movement points. That's terrible. Four movement points. Lightbringers are here. You find the entrance to the gold mine. And from the bright light beaming out at you, you'd guess it is not unoccupied. Going carefully, take a closer look. L look. Look. Let's take a closer look. The walls of this mine have plenty of small burrows weaved throughout the structure, and you see faint movement within. Something is watching you. As you move forwards, you see gold ore that shouldn't glimmer, but it does, as if it were purified and smelted already. You cannot yet see the light source that could cause such an effect. Focus your mind and soul on this place. Try to sense the source of this unnatural light. This place is beaming with power, but its source or sources are eluding your grasp. The walls seem to be pulsating with weaves of light, yet there is also a sense of stifling, a barrier that holds things tight and keeps something at bay. 
Whoever resides within is likely skilled in mysticism and determined to keep folk out. Proceed with caution or call out whoever resides resides here. Tell them you are not here to make to make a deal, not fight. You hear movement from the walls and echoes of voices from within. Be gone! Leave! Away! The danger! Darkness! Lightness. Leave! See that you know they are trying to keep something at bay here, and perhaps you can help. If they don't wish to talk, keep moving forwards, weapon at the ready. Let's let's do the challenge. There are only two of them. Should Several be creatures easier. of all shapes and sizes appear before you, only to scatter away again. A lone Karakanja demon stands firm and speaks in a slurping, almost growling voice. You sensed our walls. You know things. Maybe you are worth more alive. What do you know of our barrier? Say that you know a little, only that it's made to hold something back. Perhaps life itself? If so, ask them why. Why? Why, you ask? Because it burns and shatters and takes those who are strong. We Karakanja, we once gnawed at the roots of the cosmic tree and now it is hidden. Our friends, house demons, they have few houses to go to as the earth keeps swallowing all. Darkness was chased away and lurks only in the corners, so light bites back, bites hard. The light is attacking demons. The creature shrugs. I suppose you could say that. It comes and burns, and then those humans by the cave, they catch us, they cage us, they sell us as toys. So we made a fort. We are safe here. Or we were until the humans started sending their thugs. Admit that you were here on their behalf, but only because you need the cave. He frowns. Yes, I thought as much. But why do you need a cave so bad? Tell them of the alchemist and splint to solve the mystery of the shadow. Aha, a world saving thing. Yes, that cave does feel strong. Sometimes it calls out to us, sometimes it makes us shudder. And the shakes come from it, that's for sure. Still, we can't give you a mine, it is ours, it is a safe haven. But we could help you kill the humans, that way we both get what we want. Hmm, agree, disagree? Ask if there is any other way to convince them to leave this mine, say that you must consider this. Is there any other way to... For you, to leave. you do not have anything we need. Children, pets, elven light, those you can bargain with. I have children, I have pets. I can consider this, I can kill them or kill the bandits. We can try to kill the bandits. Wonderful. We will hide for now, allow you better access. Beware though. We do not make such deals twice, so you make it, you stick to it. You break it, we will never speak again. So you go lie to them. You speak the word, and we come to help. Good luck. Lee. Nice. So we made many deals. But... Oh, I need... I need to get rid of all the stuff I... You can gather grain, gather vegetables. And since grain and vegetable, that's something we can use here. Or is it? We don't have berries. Okay, we cannot. Never mind. But I think we've got the equipment, right? It's this one. Increase group carry multiplier. Yes. You get this, and we have a dog. Two point eight, two point eight perception. Who is growing up the fastest? Five turns. All right. Fourteen turns. You are like 40, right? 26. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Being monologue of great importance, a beautiful song, or a seductive lyric. Someone is trying to entrance you with their silver tongues. Let's do the purple challenge. You got spiritual blessing. Okay. Our rat leveled up. Battle orders to protect other or parry. It's self shielding. Yes, we want self shielding. Low fate? Who is on low fate? Everyone. Because of the wind? Yes, the wind is not nice. We need to go here. And then back to blind breakers. A strange crow marked this place on the map and said you would find divine truth here. But when you approach, all you see is the stump of an ancient oak, hollow and forlorn. Beside it, you see a bustling of light swirling in and out, trying to carve its way inside, but unable to break through. Some of these light creatures look humanoid. They may be light bringers, although they seem to be acting much livelier and more chaotic than the ones you've come across so far. Approach carefully. One of the light creatures turns to you. It is the husk of an older human, but his hair is burned and light escapes through every orifice. His presence is blinding. You, I sense you are made of this tree. Perhaps you can aid us in breaking it. Us, who are they first? This is different than light bringers. We are the bringers of light, as you call us. But this place, this stump, it is making us corrupted, so we must proceed. We must stop it so the light can be free. Why should you aid us, Ami? Ask if it has anything to do with the red cave. The creature's eyes flicker, and they all turn to you for a second before going back to work. The light must be freed. You must not interfere. Surely you, who are made of light and harmony, will aid us. Nature, you sense great conflict within these creatures. Tell them you can guide them through illumination and help them free again by calling upon their natural bonds and not those of the light type. I want to do this one, but light. No, if we can do this challenge, six. We can definitely, I think we can definitely do a, a red six. Hmm. Try, should we at least try it? Let's let's try it. That's a lot of them. Oh my god, that was a mistake. Svitelka, those are not danger. Humans, they, they don't see us big, big danger. Queen also not. But this one, okay. This has this one has to go. Grave injuries. Okay. Speed of the swarm, extremely high damage. Let's put our red first. This one. No, she will summon a boar. That's one. It's entire action. Or 24 damage, that's not bad. Let's summon. Yeah, let's summon her in the back. We will definitely use our Hunter and Hunter's Mark. Let's play him at least once. Mm -hmm. and she can also be played. I think I should... We will play her. She will summon two additional... Yes. Nice. Alright, this is no danger, no danger. We have one more turn. So summon something with one action. I think the boar... Let's summon him. And then I will use Overwhelm on the Lightbringer. Oh, 
Hunter's Mark, I mean. This one goes first. But they are all summoned, so I don't care much about this. Let's slow down. And let's see. Oh, this was this was terrible idea. Nothing came in front of the little girl. We need to protect her somehow. I think she might be dead. Oh no. Wait! She attacks everyone! Are you kidding me? That's not nice. Okay, once you talk down... Yeah, this one hurts. Oh, yep. Kido got wrecked. These are at least summons, doesn't matter. Safety pill. We have to get rid of those. Ice spike, that's eight, nine, seven. Okay, he attacks before him, so let's try to get rid of this one. Yeah, this one is not... <laughs> I don't like this one. Okay, that was not amazing. He kills this one and not this one. Six cards left. Rat is hurt. They are very fast. Let's place Hunter here. He will kill her instantly. Let's place you here. Okay, Bear is going right here. Soak some damage. Yeah, that's two hits. Perfect. I can play Rat, but I'm not sure if I want to. Just 14 health. It's not advisable. Let's play her again. They don't, have, they don't have many hit damagers. And you can take one hit, so let's do this. And the last thing... Let's Overwhelm. Or use the Hunter's Mark. I <laughs> Still confusing them. Bear is taking all the damage. She is dead. It's one hit. We don't care. It's, it does a lot of damage. No sad. Okay, that's that's it. Spider is no danger to us. They have last card in their hand, one Swiddle. That's very fast. Let's play let's play a random blast. Since she has 14 armor, it doesn't matter. <laughs> They're not playing not playing anything. Yeah, they got really scared for the random blast. Okay, protection, bore, and turn. Uh... 
I, I accidentally click cancel instead of attack. Never mind. Your voice, reinforced by the power of nature, soothes the Nightbringers. They listen, and you see a glimmer of recognition in their eyes as their unnatural bondage breaks. Sadly, most of them perish, as if the link to the Light Mind was their only remaining life force. One remains, weakened but flickering with a more familiar warmth. Mm hmm. I already got a lot of stats. Nice. Ask if they are okay. I am alone. And yet, this light you showed me, dirty, ever entwined with darkness, but so, I don't know how to speak of it. Thank you, I think. Ask them to tell you all they know of the light brainers. Ask if they are what they were doing. Why try to disturb the strange tree? I am alone. I do not know. I feel a faint imprint of us, but it is fleeting. The light in the earth is strong, burning, trying to come out so badly, but it cannot. The earth holds it still. Oh yes, here, this tree, a root of one you call Mokosh, Earth Mother, Tree Sister. Bad. Bad. There is another such root, bigger, stronger. We were to go there too. Destroy it all. I... I must leave. Find my own way. Tell them they could stay with me. No, I must not. You have a path to walk. I am unlinked now, but they may take me again. I will go. Hide. The light moves away. Go. Find the big root. Earth Mother smells like you, too. Maybe there you will find the answers you seek. Thank them and go check on the tree. The tree stump is scorched and bruised, but you see fresh vines of greenery growing on it and giving it renewed life. As you come closer, you feel the touch of the divine upon you, and a call that beckons you to find another such place in the lands of the ancient forest. Ancient forest, you say? Go in thanks and leave. I don't like the sound of ancient forest. That sounds dangerous. Or like or, all right. So Lightbringers here, Smith's legacy here. Everyone is low on faith, low on sanity. Let's camp and see who is low on faith. I mean low on sanity. She is. Which means she can use one of our beautiful crafting tools. 1.1.3. 1.3 This one is light. Okay. Increase your sanity. I don't think we can do a ritual, right? We still don't have the resources. We're missing one ember. Oh we can do, we can make use it with wood. But they are not so low, so it's not that useful. Every turn I'm looking if I can craft something and every turn the answer is no. <laughs> Just... Alright. We now need to... Defeat the... Bandit camp. And I think that we can then trade with scavengers, which would be amazing. Seven points of movement. How am I supposed to get that far? Let's go up the hill. They are no longer low on sanity, so let's give them back. The crafting. Oh! Okay. It's not the one I thought we had. I I want to gather the herbs since we can at least cook from them later on. Can the wind stop please? Just for a few turns. Or like alright. Line bringers. We will camp, definitely. Let's take 
one of us. Oh, she's extremely low on faith. Okay. And let's talk with the bandits. Second. Expedition one, expedition two. So, you done the deed? No? Bugger off then. Go do what we asked. If we can fight them, eight. I don't think we can do eight. Talk to them about the demons and their side of the story. Belief. Yes, tell them that you have been the place that sent you. Call upon the demons for eight and attack the bandits. Let's say yes. So you done the deed? Question the bandits about kidnapping scavenger kids. Lie, leave, or call upon the demons. I think calling upon the demons will give me one demon. But I'm afraid that the challenge will not be easier. We can question. Let's let's question them. That again. Sure, we get us some prisoners from time to time. Ask them. What do you mean, boy? <laughs> why do you ever have prisoners? Because they're not us and they ain't dead. Some will die because they're sickly bastards, we hope. Some we sell or something, dunno. We'll decide. You and the children? As far as I care, little ones are gonna be big one day. But we'll have them looked at, healed maybe, rehomed or sometimes kept. Depends on the rascal. Some will die like the others. Oh, make us rich, sure. <laughs> so they are slavers too? Bah, you and your nosy questions. I guess sometimes we are. Not as a rule, but if we have too many rascals, we do exchange them, sure. Whatever's good for business. Good for business, lot. Actually, we killed the scavengers already. The rod of the old mother, I see. Yes, so they're gone, finally. We will, of course, go and confirm. I am reluctant to trust strangers, but let us drink tonight. Put some poison in their drink, then attack whoever is left. Let's try that. Um, it's mental challenge, which is amazing since <laughs> they are all low on blue. You know, let's do auto resolve. The poison works well. You slaughter the bandits, and those who survive run away via hidden passages, swearing revenge upon you. You find some goods, and even some cages where livestock and people were held. Some are empty, but perhaps a few may yet be occupied. Let's search the place. You find a horse, some dogs, and several bodies of scavengers, including children, although some may yet be alive. Gather what you can and help the wounded. The alchemist arrives out of nowhere and looks pleased, ignoring all the bloody carnage. Splendid! My oh my, I never did think you'd go this way. So the cave entrance is now clear. I will go in first, make way and mark it for you on the map. Come join me if you want to find out more about the Shattering. The good news, we found two horses. The bad news, we found <laughs> so much stuff that two horses are still not enough. Okay. Dogs made of a dragon bow. I think I might <laughs> recycle that, those. Say that you will join him when you can. Okay, this is the cave. Those are the things. Smith Legacy. I think they cannot move, right? At all. I can trigger the event, but I'm not sure if I want to right now. Let's. Oh, we have two, two movement points. Let's equip the horses, shall we? I think that will be the best thing. Increase movement points. That's also nice. Six. Seven already. Nice. Seven. No, wait a second. That's not gonna work. Six, seven, six. Seven. Only five. Four. Seven, five for a red. Only five. Let's increase the six and seven. So the lowest is six. She five. 
Yeah. There are a lot of dogs. He's growing up in two turns. Alright. We are supposed to be Zerka, but I'm not sure if we can get so many experience points by then to get at least one more level up. Yeah. The strength and perception is much higher. I'm afraid that this will not be enough. I hope so, it will. Yeah, zero movement points. It's too heavy. Two movement points only. We are so heavy. This is incredible. Lightbringers. I need. I cannot even move up the hill. We will have to do some recycling, I guess. But even then, that's not even useful that much. He will grow up and increase the carrying capacity by a lot. So maybe let's just go to the cave and trigger the event. You finally enter the Red Cave, and you now realize the meaning of its name. The walls and floor are rough, layered with blood-red moss and black veins. Faint crimson light lingers beneath this odd canopy, pulsating quietly in slow rhythm. Let's go in. You move through this odd tunnel and find several paths, some leading to small alcoves that are clearly used by the bandits as storage. Other paths are entirely collapsed. The only remaining way leads to what looks like an entrance to another larger tunnel. But there is a membrane blocking your way. Magic user, Dwarf or Goblin or Orc of Strength. Let's do Dwarf or Goblin. Search for entrance. Search this entrance for a maker. Although magic and other mysteries are clearly at work here, you also spot the unmistakable craft of Dwarven Smiths. You uncover the mechanism that should open the barrier, but it will not be easy to master. Let's do it. Carefully, you study the ancient mechanism, and with much care, you find the right combination to make it work. The barrier opens, allowing you to enter. Take a look around. You stand in a dark chamber, covered still in the strange moss, but here, you see a deep hole in the middle, the earth and stone around it torn from within. And from this hole, cracks spread out like the sun's rays. They are small here, Yet, you see bright light within, and you sense enormous power within, pulsating, spreading. And yet, from your divine connection, you also sense that this is a mere outlet, not the source. Turn to alchemist for answers. Fascinating. I've heard of such things. Of course, inanimate yet living is not a thing of myth in Slavia. No, but at this scale? This cave, it has residues of great power, but also echoes of life. Alas, I admit, I need help if I am to solve this. Dwarf. Admit that this is beyond even your own understanding of stone, and you will need an old stone master to tell you more. Yes, we'll need to search for an expert. I will of course remain here, study this cave more. Mm -hmm. Where to search for such experts? That is an excellent question. I would wager that traveling to the lands of stone and metal where dwarven survivors now dwell is a sure bet. Now, you could also look for some elder long ears, um, elves that is. Once they're old enough, the likelihood that they meddled in the affairs of the world grows exponentially. Find them in ancient forests, and who knows, maybe goblins or orc know something. Just remember to find their villages, not just random folk. Alright, any other options? Failing that, I do know a place, but it will be a matter of brute force and likely much more difficult. A dwarven smith of great renown is held captive by trolls, I happen to know where. Go, free him, and he will be on about to aid you. Thank him for the help, and leave search for the expert. Alright. We... Accepted quests. We finished the... Red Cave. 
For some reason the game really wants us to be in this place of the map. Which is exactly where I don't want to be. Well, we will sell a lot of things here in the scavenger camp. We'll finish the Smith legacy and then we will move east. But that will be all for this episode. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.